What is going on guys? This is Coasters of the Thrills here checking on into Universal Orlando Resort here on a very well cold day out here in Florida. And as you can see, they actually replaced the Universal Orlando Resort welcome sign. It's like this blue uh, shading right here. As you can see, they have changed it as an update right here, of course. But uh, with that said, all around here, as you can see, and um, yeah, that's the new sign right there for uh, Universal. But uh, anyways, with that said, uh, we're probably gonna go over to studios first just because it closed at six today more earlier than usual. So with that said, enjoy today's future presentation here at Universal Orlando Resort. All right, so as we make our way over through here, over there, as you can see right over there through that uh, little passageway through there, there's actually the movie escape room, which is right over there as well, which that has been um, added. Uh, not too long ago, that was in 2022, but just to point that out over there, I'm not gonna go over there right now, but it is over there, as you can see, right over here, there's a little QR code, you can scan it. And, uh, but anyways, uh, before we go into the parties, we're probably gonna go over to Tusum, right over there, which is that ch uh, chocolate aquarium, which is right over there before we got, go out to the parks here. But uh, anyways, it looks like there's some, yeah, that's one thing that I do wanna do at one point, in the future is to do that uh, movie escape room, but maybe some point in the future we'll do it, but uh, we'll see. As we make our way through here, as you can see, as we are coming up, uh, right over here is actually Tucson, which is, um, which they have a couple of other areas over here, which is the Hard Rock Cafe, which is right over there as well. But uh, right over here, as you can see right here, we're gonna take a little sp uh, stop right over here before we go into the parks which uh, studios is over there as you can see and um, right over there I believe there's actually like a little bow you can use to go to the hotels and stuff which is actually pretty cool which I have not done that before but hopefully soon one point we will but anyways so as you can see there's stuff all over here as you can see with all this stuff uh, there's stuff you know, over there with uh, candy and everything it's just a store you can go around here and uh, it's, just a, it's just a little gift shop over here in uh, Tucson but as you see there's stuff all over here and uh, it's about like 30 to 40 minute wait so uh, anyways I guess you have to wait out that but I'll meet you later, later on when we go to the parks which will be uh, pretty soon but uh, anyways so as you can see there's like a weird whole uh, thing right over here as you can see as, uh, with all the other stuff around here which is nothing really to showcase but with this all different stuff but I guess just decided to showcase that off anyways but anyways uh here it is right over here so uh anyways all right so as you can see there's actually stuff all over here which help this is also if you can get over here at Tucson you have to do this uh, QR code which is right there and uh, this is all the stuff you can get right over here as you can see and it's all different stuff uh, as you can see there's appetizers um there's salads and all that stuff so that's all over here and uh, don't know exactly but just want to showcase that over here in the menu but uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to showcase that or if not, but uh, there it is right there. All right, we have finished with a Patusum. It was actually pretty good, actually, than uh, I expected. I got the milkshake, and it was actually pretty good. And now I believe it's time to go over to the studio. It's about, like, almost about like 3 o'clock around here. And uh, I did see that, it's, that it is almost 3 o'clock. It's about like 2, like 23 to be exact around this time right now. So uh, we're going to go over to the studios right now so uh with that said uh let's go over to the parks right now yeah. all right as you see we have made it over here to studios and as you've seen before uh kids zone was actually closed and uh, even though we couldn't make it there before before it was closed it is closed right now so we'll make sure to show you some more updates over there in just a couple of minutes as well so uh that's that we have made it over here and as you see with the scanners we're over here to get inside the park uh, we're about to do that right now so uh anyways so as you can see we had made inside of studios and i don't know how long these people will meet us right over there but there's the wait times and the schedules for the rides right over there as you can see uh right now it doesn't really say that much right now but some is 15 minutes some is 60 minutes but i don't know but over here as we make our way over here through now and uh i've been over here in quite some time over in this area but We'll see what comes around here as well. Well, there is one thing we have never done before, the Orange Spectacular, which is, okay, there's actually a huge line just to get inside here, which is 
a little bit crazy but as you can see there's a huge line just to get in there but uh anyways oh wow there's lights over here in this area as we make our way over here through here right now but uh, anyways let's just see what else we can do over here looks like they have like a meeting right over there for the simpsons which is right over there as you can see and uh, they're out over there uh sometimes around here in studios they like let random characters like that just come out here uh some can be uh beetlejuice which that was one day over there in the horror makeup show you see right over there so uh anyways i do know that uh the uh, very hey look beetlejuice is right over there as you can see they're right over there oh well, well, look at that right they're doing another meet and greet Looks like they're doing a lot of meeting greets over here, but there's Beetlejuice right over there. So with the horror makeup show, very interesting to say the least. But uh, he's out right there doing meeting greets. So, uh, anyways, as you can see right over here, there's actually like a media center, which is right over here, which is very interesting as well. So, uh, anyways, so I believe we. Oh, there's another meeting greet over here as well. So. Uh, yeah, there is a line of meet and greets out here today, so, uh, anyways, off to our next area, which, yeah, right over here, as we make our way over here right now, um, yeah, the, the kid zone is gone, it is good, gone for good, we don't know what's going to be replacing it, though, but, you can see there's walls all over there, as you can see, which you can't see right now, but, yeah, it's gone, with the Woody Woodpecker and everything right over there, so, uh, it's gone for good. And even though we couldn't get to do it before, uh, the, one of the same, the attractions that are still here is uh, SpongeBob, uh, Sore Pants, and ET, which is right over here. So, uh, as, yeah, so as you can see, there's work walls all over here. So, uh, it is gone. So, anyways, so yeah, as you can see, there's work walls all over there. So, uh, anyways, but those are the only two remaining things that are over there, and animal actors as well is still over here as well so anyways uh, that's just a little bit crazy but you know i don't know what's going to be the future plans for the kid zone but we'll see what happens out there and uh yeah well look at this we're actually having doc brown out here as well for meeting greets with the uh, delorean and uh the train from back to the future which yeah they're they're having meeting greets over here with doc brown which is very interesting so um so yeah as you can see there yeah there's a lot of meeting greets over here today so um but yeah over there you can see there's actually the delorean for back to the future which is a little model of it right over there which is interesting and then the train right here as well so um anyways all right, so uh, one thing I want to point out is that uh, they're actually having another entrance for uh, the Simpsons, which uh, the main entrance to get in for right over there has actually been blocked off with them for some uh, work walls. And as you can see, it's actually been blocked off right over here. Coral and Hurl is actually a 35 minute wait, which is kind of good, not bad, but not the best for a ride like that. But the Simpsons, yeah, the work walls have been over here. You actually have to go to a uh, different uh, entrance to get on the Simpsons, which is right over here, as you can see. Which, anyways. So as you can see right over here, it says that the Simpsons is currently like a 55 minute wait for the attraction entrance, which is right there. So uh, a little bit crazy, as you can see. But anyways, the entrance is right over there. So. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of work walls over here for some reason. They studios is doing a lot of work on their parts, as you can see. So uh, the main, the first stop might be Men in Black Alien Attack to see our, just to get our points up. But uh, we're going over to Men in Black right now just to see. But anyways, we might go on Men in Black right now. All right, we just hit Men in Black Alien Attack, and uh, yeah, those points kind of sucks because yeah, I did not do well at all, so uh, that was not that great. So uh, anyways. But I do know that it was actually a 75 minute wait, but I was actually able to do the single rider line, which was actually way shorter. So that was good. And uh, now, as far as we're going to do next, we have no idea, but uh, we'll see. So uh, on to the next thing. All right, so as you can see, we're over here at uh, Diagon Alley just to see how long Escape from Green Gods is right now for the crowds. And uh, currently, I think it actually says it's a 110 minute wait for Escape from Green Gods, which. 
I guess, I mean, I don't really want to do that right now, so I guess was so that's 100 commissions going on by here through Escape from uh, Diagon Alley, but yeah, a little bit too crowded over here, but uh, anyways, on to our next area. thing I want to showcase is that uh, Fast and Furious Supercharged did, did get sponsored by Napa which is right over there which is actually pretty cool and uh, yeah actually got sponsored by Napa which is which is really I guess understandable and makes sense why it would have happened but yeah Fast and Furious Supercharged got sponsored by Napa and it's yeah that's pretty cool to say the least but uh anyways all right, I think the next stop is going to be Fast and Furious Supercharged, which is, a, is actually an official sponsor from Napa, which is pretty cool. I guess we're going to do the single rider line, and uh, let's get on the ride and uh, let's do Fast and Furious Supercharged. All right, just did Fast and Furious Supercharged, which was a pretty good ride, other than the last, so it was okay at that time. I got like the near like the middle, near like the edge, and I didn't really get to see it that good on the screen because I got the very far right off, but. But it was it was a pretty good ride, I guess you could say that time. And uh, so now, as far as we're gonna do, I have no idea, but uh, we'll see. Uh, off to the next thing. So a little bit of an update right here. Adventure of the Mummy is actually like a hundred minute wait. Actually, it said that before. And boy, look at that line right there. We might skip that for now, but I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. But um, we'll see. I do know Rick's Flix is here, but I didn't get to see that but hopefully soon but anyways on to our next area well this ride right here is not good at all and it's a 70 minute wait what the heck is wrong with this but i wouldn't even write if it was five minutes i don't this ride's not the best year jimmy fallon raced in new york but uh anyways we're thinking about going to rip ride rocket next and it's not that bad as a wait but there's actually a concert going on over there which is rocket the universe for some thing i don't know what it is but it's going on over there, but uh, Rip Red Rocket should be next on the list, but we'll see what, when we get over there, how long it is. Hopefully we can do the single rider line, but we'll just see what happens. Alright, time to see if we can get on Rip Red Rocket. Uh, so this should not be bad as a wait at all, I hope. But we'll see, we'll catch you. Uh, hopefully it's not that bad, I hope it's not that bad. So uh, let's just see and probably go on the ride. Rip Red Rocket is currently an 80 minute wait, so... Uh, Oh, it's actually 50 minutes, I think, so maybe it shouldn't be that bad, but uh, so I don't know if single rider line's open, but, uh, oh, it's actually 90. Oh, so I, I don't know, what do you think, should we do it? Or we'll just see in a minute. Alright, so more updates right over here. So, the new ride for this area, this building right here, has been announced. It's called Villain Con Minion Blast, coming summer of 2023. You can see that the poster is right over here. And it is here, right here as you see. And this is the poster right here, for coming 2023, as you can see right here. So uh, yeah, that's coming very, very soon. So uh, summer 2023, so that's gonna be replacing the Shrek 4D, which is pretty cool, but uh, that's the new ride coming over here in uh, this area. Anyways, moving on to our next area. All right, so I guess we're, oh yeah, you can see there's actually a posters right up there as well, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen in Minute Black, though. You can actually see there's actually stuff, like, right over in there, too, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, anyways, I don't know what's going to happen in Minute Black. It's supposed to be, like, a theme shooting right, like, Minute Black, so, uh, by the way, oh, wait. Well, that's weird. They have, like, a thing to go into to speak with me, which, I don't know how long. It doesn't even say the wait time, so that's probably at capacity, so, so it was 50 minute wait on the app, so, uh, anyways. Uh, we didn't, we couldn't do Rip Ride Rocket because it actually went up to 160 minutes actually so uh, we're gonna go over to Islands of Adventures and uh, let me try over there for the time warp right about now. Alright we have Made Inside Islands of Adventures and uh, we got we came from studios and uh, the first ride that we're gonna do I don't know yet but uh, maybe possibly start off with the Marvel section first and uh, just make it off from there so uh, Let's go on to the next thing. Oh, 
there it goes right there. So, uh... Anyways, uh, we might do Hulk or Spider-Man. Haven't decided yet, but uh, we'll see. All right, as you see, we have made it over here to Hulk. So, I don't know really what to say about that, but uh, it does look like it's long. Oh boy. So, it kind of looks long, but I don't know how, what, how long does it say though. It's about like, it's about like what, 95 minute wait, so I guess we're just going to see what we can do. After a long wait in the single rider line, we finally did the Hulk. And it was pretty good. It did have a little brief breakdown in the middle when we are waiting, but... I just decided to wait out the wait anyways, but it was okay, but anyways, that was the hook right over there as you can see, and uh, on to the next thing. Alright, so now we don't know exactly what we're going to do now. Uh, Doctor Doom was a 35 minute wait, and Spider-Man is like 50, I think, but it is around 6 o'clock around here, and uh, we don't know what we're going to do exactly yet, but uh, the Hulk did go up to 130 minutes, uh, which was a little bit... You know, uh, it was too long. Uh, before it was 90 minutes, but I guess it just went up to like 130. But anyways, uh, we're going to see what else we could do. And, uh, yeah. One area that has been open is the meeting greet, which is right over there, which that has been walls over there. But as you see, it's actually open right over there. And uh, Spider-Man is about like 60 minutes, I, I think. Or 30 minutes. I don't know. 90 minutes. 80. Oh, 50. I mean, I don't know if we should do it, but we'll see. So one ride that has been, uh, that just reopened just a couple of uh, days ago, or months ago, I should say, is uh, Dolly Do Ride's Ripside Falls, which uh, just opened. And um, as you can see, it's open right over there. So uh, I do know Jurassic Park River Adventure is actually closed for a refurb, which that makes sense because Universal does... Uh, close some of their water rides and keeps like two of them open but they do they do do this i think the next one's going to be popeye and bluto's which is going to be next but as you see julie do right up falls is actually open so uh here it is right over here but uh anyways So I think we're just going to skip Velocicoaster today because that uh, regular line, it says on it's like 110 minutes and that's too long. And plus I did the single rider line once and that was, that did not help at all and it was too long pretty much. And uh, Jurassic Park River Adventure, as you see, is closed. It's all walled off over there. And uh, so yeah, um, Velocicoaster, probably not going to ride it today because of how I did do a night ride here once on that one time I came here, and uh, it was pretty good. And but I still think Iron Gwazi at night is still going to be more better than this. Iron Gwazi is always going to be number one. But uh, anyways, yep, as you can see, Velocicoaster is 120 minute wait. Yeah, you know that won't go well. So uh, possibly try to go to Hagrid's. Possibly be the definitely be the last ride of the night. Uh, it is almost like. 6 30 so we'll see what happens but probably gonna go over to Hagrid's but anyways but anyways yeah as you can see the velocity starts line starts over there so uh yeah here it goes right over here but anyways so as you can see uh our plans has changed we're actually not gonna do Hagrid's because that could be as long as well and plus it's delayed and uh, forbidden journey is about like maybe definitely long so uh, we're not gonna make it over there plus there's only like one way in you know how to get out so anyways i guess we're just gonna see i think it's pretty much time to leave anyways but we'll see what happens all right so i think we're pretty much done with universal altogether it's all the wait times are it's, it was it was very crowded today so uh i mean I mean, it is January, which is it is a it is the um, it is the off season, which I mean that's going to change next month. But anyways, uh, that's going to be pretty much I guess doing it here at uh, 
universal. So, uh, anyways, yeah, Sooth in the Sky, Sooth Charlie Trainer was actually a 55 minute wait. So, there you know, it's definitely crowded, but hopefully one day we can come here and like lines are not even that bad but hopefully that will happen one day but who knows but that will be pretty much doing it here at the Universal Orlando Resort. So I'll pretty much doing it here at uh, Universal Orlando today. If you like what we do here on Coasters of the Thrills make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification for any future uploads and uh, that will be doing it here at Universal so until uh, then this is Coasters of the Thrills.